So happy Thursday. This week, I'm gonna give you five things that you should never do when you're going to buy a home. Hey everyone, John Byrne here with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Verani Realty. Welcome to Thirsty Thursday, where I help you quench your thirst for real estate knowledge. So maybe you're a first time home buyer, maybe you've bought a ton of homes, maybe it's been 20 years since you've bought your last home. I'm gonna give you five things that you should never do when you're buying a home. So the first thing that you should never do when you're buying a home is don't buy a house without a realtor. So what we do is we coordinate house tours. We help you negotiate when you're finding the house that you really wanna put an offer on. We help you negotiate when you're under contract on a home and you've gone through the home inspection process and you find some just, you know, deficiencies in the home. We help you get all of your paperwork together if you need that when you're about to close on the home. If you need, um, oh gosh, if you need a, an insurance person, we can give you guidance on those. And then the last thing we do is we just show up and we help you at the closing if you have any weird questions about anything. So a lot of people get nervous that a real estate agent is going to pressure them into buying a house that's not right for them. That's not our job. We're here to help you find the house that best suits you. And sometimes we see that before you even see that. That's why we're real estate matchmakers sometimes. So the second thing that you should do when you're buying a house is meet with a few lenders. I know a lot of my lender friends out there are probably cringing right now, but I'm gonna be honest, some lenders have better rates than some others don't. Some have better products than others. And some people just don't mesh with other people. So meet with a few lenders. See if they have the right products for you. See if they are the right fit for you. If, you know, personality-wise, you guys work together well. Because if you don't, and you're, you know, two-thirds of the way into the process, and you're not getting along with your lender, it's not going to be a good transaction. So the third thing that you should never do is hold out for the right home. Everyone has this dream that they're gonna find the perfect house for them. It doesn't always exist. Find the perfect home for now. Some people like to think 10, 20 years in the future, and that's great. If you think you're gonna be in that house the rest of your life, then yes, you probably should think that far in, in advance, but the average is five to seven years that people actually live in a home these days. So don't think about so far in the future. Think about what works for you right now. And I'm gonna throw a little 3B in there. If you do find the home that is perfect for you, don't lowball the offer. That could potentially be the worst thing that you could do. You could send an offensive offer to that seller and they won't even wanna like respond to you. They might just say no and just move on. And then you might lose out on the house forever. So don't lowball on the offer. The fourth thing that you should do when you're going to buy a home is don't forget to budget for closing costs. Um, you can talk to your lender up front before you even put an offer on a home and you can say, hey, I'm thinking about buying this house. Can you give me the quick cost to close on the home? And they'll give you a quick breakdown of, you know, title fees, insurance, all of the stuff that's going to come up at closing that you'll have to pay for. And the fifth thing that you should never do, and I've said this a million times and I'll probably continue to say it a million more times. Don't make any big purchases. If you're thinking about buying a house, if you're under contract on a house, anything. If you're about to buy a house, don't make any big purchases. A lot of people think they need to buy new furniture, new appliances. I've had people buy cars before. Don't do it. It's going to screw up your credit. It's going to screw up the cash that you have on hand. Again, you know, certain circumstances come up if you need a new car because your car just died and you have a commute to work, talk to your lender first and there might be a solution for you to work it all out. So those are five things that you should do or not do when you're buying a home. Thanks for watching. Please like this video, please comment, and please share it with your friends. I will see you next week.